What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. I'm so excited for today's video because it is that time of year again. It is Sephora Spring Savings Event and as per usual, I will be going through all of my top recommendations for you guys. I also film myself actually using the products. I feel like that's just a little bit more helpful. I am so excited that today's video is actually in collaboration with Sephora. Anytime I get to collaborate with them, it always feels like a dream come true. Their savings events are my absolute favorite time of the year. I go a little bit crazy every single time but that's just because I can't help it who doesn't love saving money especially when I shop at Sephora all the time anyways if you're not a beauty insider member already I will leave the link down below where you can become one the savings event begins on April 5th for Rouge members Rouge members get early access and you get 20% off with the code yay save you also get 30% off all of the Sephora collection and free shipping and then the savings event begins on April 9th for beauty insiders and VIB members VIB members get 15% off also with the code yay save and beauty insiders get 10% off with the same code VIB members and beauty insiders can also shop Sephora collection at 30% starting on April 5th and you also get free shipping and my favorite part about the savings event is that you can use the code as many times as you want the limit does not exist so I will put all of the details of the savings event down below make sure to become a beauty insider if you are not one already because who doesn't love saving money all right so now let's get into all of my top recommendations for you guys. These are the products that I cannot live without. A few of them, you have seen them in past videos already, but there are a few new amazing products that have completely taken over my makeup routine. I also placed an order from Sephora a few days ago, and I've been testing out some new products that I've been eyeing, and I wanted to let you know if they were worth it or not, and honestly, a lot of them shocked me. I always say this whenever there's a savings event, my number one hair product, hair tool to pick up is a Dyson Airwrap. I use my Dyson Airwrap, I'm not kidding you, every single day. It is my most used hair tool of all time. And I will actually be picking up one during the savings event because I am tired of carting my air wrap from my home to my boyfriend's home. So I'm just gonna buy another one and I'm gonna leave my Dyson air wrap at his house. Moving on to hair care products, I don't wanna talk about this one too much because I have talked about this so many times on my channel before, but the K18 Leave-In Hair Mask single-handedly saved my hair when I was blonde and fried my hair off trying to bleach my hair myself. I'm taking my hair health journey so seriously. So I picked up this product from Briogeo, the Scalp Revival Rosemary Pre-Wash Oil for Hair and Scalp. I basically put this on my scalp, massaged it in. I actually left it in overnight last night and then I washed it out this morning. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I've only used this one time, but I loved it last night. It's more of a thinner oil compared to the oils I was using in the past. So it was really easy to rub into my scalp. I still feel like my scalp got a really good treatment. I left it on overnight, washed it off this morning. It didn't leave any oily residue on my hair and it was just like overall a very great experience. So I will report back on if I feel like this made a crazy change in my scalp and in my hair. But if you've been wanting to get into oiling your hair, this is a great option. The next product I picked up recently is the L'Oreal Professional Absolute Repair Molecular 5 Amino Acid <laughs> Leave-In Mask. A hairdresser, Erin, used this mask on me and it made my hair feel so soft, but above that, it made my hair smell amazing for days. It smells similar to the YSL Lieb perfume. So this combination, you will smell phenomenal. It smells so good. It also makes your hair feel incredibly soft. The last product I want to talk about is the Way Hair Gloss. This is the easiest way to make your hair look shiny and feel extra soft at home in five minutes. It also smells amazing. Basically, you shampoo your hair and instead of conditioner, you apply this all over your head. You leave it on for five minutes. You rinse it out and your hair looks like you got a gloss done at the salon. Moving on to skincare, I think I've talked about this one product in every single one of my Sephora recommendations video for the past at least three or four years. This is my number one skincare product. I can change anything else in my routine, but I will never change this product. This is probably my like 20th bottle and I get the big size. I get the mama jama size because I cannot be caught without this product. My other two skincare recommendations are from Tatcha, the Rice Polish Classic Cleanser. This is another product I talk about all the time. I got a few comments last time being like, you always talk about the same products, but 
they were that good. Like, I would you rather I not stand by my recommendations and I'm always talking about other things? Like, these are the products that I truly recommend and I've tried other things. I've tried other exfoliators. I always come back to this one. It's a powder. You mix it with water. I like that you can make it as gritty or as, like, smooth as you want. It feels like a microdermabrasion. Um, and then this is my favorite moisturizer for nighttime. Oh my goodness, this cream is magical. I think this is my third or fourth jar of this. It's the Dewy skin cream. Tatcha is one of my favorite skincare brands. I've never tried a product from them that I don't love. Even their cleansing oil is very good, but it didn't make the cut. Now let's get on to the fun stuff. Let's talk about the makeup. These are the makeup products I would die for. Yes, you've seen some of them before, but there are some new products that have replaced old products that I think you guys are going to love. So let's talk about primer. I'm still loving this Say Primer, but I'm not going to lie. She was kicked out by this flawless filter. For the longest time, I've always heard people talk about this Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter, whatever, whatever, and I've had it since they launched it, but I never truly appreciated the magic that was this flawless filter. Years and years and years ago, there was a product from Huda Beauty called Nymph. I think it was, a, that was like an acronym for a not your mama's pantyhose, okay? And it was basically like a blurring product. I think it was for your skin, but I used it as a face primer. It, it made you look insane, okay? You really look like the Tin Man. One thing I remember about that product is that it really smoothed your skin and foundation laid on top of it spectacularly. And I feel like this does the exact same thing, but the best part about this is that you can actually use it on its own and you don't look absolutely insane. I don't want to say it gives you coverage, but it just kind of evens and blurs your skin tone so that when you put a concealer on top, it creates like a flawless base. So sometimes I'll use it that way, but more often than not, I will put it under my foundation. I also feel like this somehow makes my makeup last longer because I feel like it creates a barrier between my oils and the foundation. That's really the only primer I use. So now let's get on to foundation and you're not going to be surprised to see this baby in here. This baby in here. I feel like this is probably my sixth or seventh bottle of it. For as long as I can remember, I was on the hunt for the perfect foundation and I am very picky. I am very particular. And honestly, I never felt fulfilled by a foundation. There were foundations I liked, but none that hit every single thing on my list until I found this baby. And you know, I tend to get kind of bored with my makeup, even when something works really well for me. If a new shiny product comes along that claims to do all these things, I will test it out. It was like with the House Labs foundation, I tested it out. It was good. But then I went back to this foundation and I was just reminded at how perfect it is. It has skincare ingredients in it. It lasts so well throughout the day. It actually looks better as the day goes on. The coverage is really nice and buildable. I would say it's definitely a medium coverage but you can build it up to have higher coverage if they ever discontinue this product there will be hell to pay but for days where I want a little bit less coverage or I just want something very natural I have been loving this yummy skin serum skin tint from Danessa Myricks the reason I have this one in my collection as well and the reason it's even competing with the NARS one is because for the days where I just want an overall like wash of color an evening of my skin tone this is the one that I go for because it looks so natural. It blends so nicely into your skin. It literally looks like your skin. Moving on to concealer, I actually started using a color corrector. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and I use this before I put my concealer on or sometimes I just use this by itself. Like I love just putting this skin serum tint on and then using the color corrector because it's not so intense where your under eyes look orange. It looks so natural. The finish is really nice and creamy. It gets rid of any dark circles on your eyes, but it doesn't have that heaviness of concealer so if I'm going for a very natural look this is what I'll use under my eyes or I will use it under my concealer as well because I feel like I have to use less concealer for my concealer these two have been my pride and joy recently the tower 28 concealer is so good it has so much more coverage than I was expecting but still has a really nice natural finish so I'll use this under my eyes I have two shades in this CC for my brightening under eye and EP for kind of like the rest of my face but when I want like full glam if I'm trying to cover up a blemish or you know I just want a thicker concealer I do love the hourglass concealer 
I just have repurchased this so many times and it's always so good. For my cream contour, again, I have two, one for more full glam and one for more natural. For full glam, I really like the LYS cream contour in the shade Harmony. This I can definitely build up and get a very intense cream contour and bronzing. And then for my more natural days, I go with the Merit Stick. This is way, way, way more sheer than the LYS contour stick. And this I use if I just want a very natural little bronziness on my skin. My favorite pressed powder has officially been replaced. I have not used the Charlotte Tilbury powder since I have discovered the magic that is the Kosas Cloud Set. Mine's looking a little bit wonky not gonna lie i don't know what's going on there but this powder is so good so i'll put my concealer on and then i'll set my face with this powder and it just creates the most flawless finish on your skin the only thing i hate about this product is the packaging who decided to create a powder with the most bulkiest packaging in the world it does not make sense kosas you need to get that figured out but when i want my makeup to look full glam when i want my makeup to stay in place all day without budging you know I had to whip out this baby, the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder. I use the shade Pound Cake. This powder will transform your whole makeup game. If you want your makeup to look as flawless as possible, you need to be setting your face or baking with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. Once you start using this, you will not be able to use any other powder. I actually ran out of this powder and I have so many setting powders. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be good. I'm not gonna repurchase it. My makeup looked terrible. This bronzer, from House Labs really surprised me. It quickly replaced my all-time favorite Hoola bronzer, which I've been using for years and years and years. But the formula of this is just so amazing. It's called a velvet bronzer and it really has that velvety consistency compared to the Hoola bronzer, which I find it could be a little bit dry and powdery. This one just melts onto your skin. I use the shade medium level seven and it's the perfect combination of warm and cool tones. And then I also, because I love that so much, picked up one of their blush this is a new purchase for me, but oh my goodness, I was missing out. I love a baby pink blush. Another top recommendation of mine is the Say Blush in Baby. It's a very cool toned pinky blush. And this is the perfect formula for a cream blush. I do not like cream blushes like the ones from Rare Beauty that are so freaking potent. Like I do not want that. I want something that gives you a kiss of color and this does that but you can build it up. This is so pigmented you only need a little bit but it blends on your skin so nicely as well. I have a similar one from MAC but oh my gosh this one is so much better. Now moving on to eyes I want to talk about these products from Merit. I did have this product but in a different color and I really enjoyed it but I recently got the shades Vachetta and Brun. I think it's pronounced Vachetta and not Vachetta, so let's just pretend that's how I pronounced it. A perfect, okay, perfect cream bronzy shade. I put this all over my lid and into my crease, and then brun, which is brown in French, um, is the perfect shade to do a liner, like a smoked out brown liner. You can see you only need a very, very little bit. I recently picked up the Master Mattes palette from Makeup by Mario. When I first opened this palette, I'm not gonna lie, I was extremely underwhelmed. You can see it's just like a bunch of mattes, which I knew when I bought it, but for some reason when I saw it, I was like, Ugh. Even though like in a palette, I don't use all those glimmery, shimmery shades. These are the colors I would use. So I tested it out and then I was like, okay, yes, I understand. They blend so well. Different variations and shades just create the most perfect like everyday bronzy look. I now understand the hype about this palette. So if you are someone who like typically uses bronzer in your crease and you want to spice it up a little bit, this is the palette you need to be getting. Even though most of the time I do love like a matte eye, sometimes I do like a shimmer, but the only shimmery shadow I've been using is this one from MAC. It's the Extra Dimension Eyeshadow in the shade Sweet Heat. So it just looks like this. And what I like about this shadow is that it is the perfect amount of shimmery and glittery. It's not gonna look like you have glitter on your eye. It's just gonna give you like the perfect amount of shimmeriness. I have it today on my eye. Look, I'll literally put it all over, even up into my crease. Something about me is I will always have a wing liner on and it will always connect into my inner corner. I find it works best with a brown liner. It gives you that same like sultry intense look but without it being like in your face. So my favorite 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 eyeliner is the Cali Ray 
eyeliner in Secret Spot. This is a brown liner. Um, but it's like on the darker brown side. What I like about this is that it will stay put all day. Recently, I have been loving this pencil from MAC. It is the eye pencil in the shade Coaster Reach. Reach? I don't know. This also is the perfect shade of brown, so I really like using this one on the outer wing. This one does not stay as long as the Cali Ray one, but I find it a little bit softer. And then I also really like using this on the outer corner of my waterline if you really want that like sexy fox eye look. Just like I love a brown liner, I also love a brown mascara. And there's a big difference between brown brown black and just regular brown and for every day I really want a true brown mascara and this one from YSL the Lash Clash mascara is so good you can see it is like a true milk chocolatey brown before we get into my favorite part of this video which is my lip products I want to talk about my finishing products that I use on my face which I really feel bring my whole makeup look together so this is the hourglass palette it all these powders are amazing if you can get your hands on one of these palettes I would really recommend it but I really want to talk about these two powders right here which are the finishing powders these powders act like a filter on your skin. This, these will make you look like you're glowing from within. Even though they do kind of have like a sparkly essence in the powder, they don't add a sparkliness to your skin. When I'm wiping off my bake, I'll go in with these powders and use it to wipe off my bake. If I feel like my bronzer and the rest of my face isn't blended perfectly, I'll go in with a little powder and kind of just blend out and it just makes everything better <laughs> honestly like i cannot finish my makeup without putting these on top the rest of the products are good too the bronzer is very good as well but if you can't pick up a palette like this definitely check out those finishing powders they're so amazing i have not tried any other powder like that on the market and similarly i have not tried any other highlighter like this on the market this is from rare beauty i've talked about this so many times it's the liquid luminizer in the shade flaunt i don't use this every single day only on days where i want to look like insanely flawless where i want to look snatched where i want people to look at me and go oh my god what is she using on her face? This is a product that will do that to you. So I put this on my cheekbones. I'll put it on my lip. I'll put it down this bridge of my nose. I'll put it here and I'll put it here. And it creates a filter on your skin. I like this highlighter because it doesn't add like chunky glitter on your skin. It just really creates an overall opaly glowy essence on your skin what i like about this also in comparison to like a different glowy product like the one from say is that it doesn't move it doesn't make your skin feel like dewy and like very wet and lastly for setting spray i recently picked up this one from one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray i have heard that this is like what beyonce uses on stage that if you want your makeup to last for weeks this is the setting spray you need to use and i was a little bit skeptical i was like how can a makeup setting spray do that i don't think this is probably very healthy for your skin because you can smell the alcohol in it when you put it on your skin but boy does it ever work okay i want to talk about three makeup tools before we get onto the lips this is the sephora sponge and you didn't see me apply my makeup with it because i actually forgot it at my boyfriend's house over the weekend and i sat down to do my makeup couldn't find it anywhere and i was like nikki please go pick up one of these at sephora thankfully i live right next to sephora because i need to talk about this sponge i have never felt something so soft in my life i don't know if you can see like how squishy like you can until you feel it you won't be able to tell how soft and how amazing this makeup sponge is i love this flat edge for baking and getting like right up in the corner other makeup brushes i love is this one from patrick ta this double-ended one i love this it's so fluffy and big and just puts your bronzer on in no time for my cream bronzer i use this brush from in cosmetics it just blends it out perfectly and then i like this side for blending out like spot concealing and then this brush from makeup by mario is great to either spot powder or to put your finishing powder or even blush so this one i've been loving one of my biggest passions in life is lip liners so i'm going to go through my top lip liners with you and my number one may surprise you it is actually this sephora brand lip liner in the shade dressed to the 90s this is the one i reach for i want to say 95 percent of the time it is the perfect combination of pinkiness 
and brownness. Then this one from Patrick Ta in this shade She's Strong. You can see it's definitely more on the peachier, brownier side. I love the shape of this and this I kind of use also as like an all over lipstick color. The Anastasia lip liners in general are my favorite. My favorite is in Deep Taupe but I have since lost it. It's in one of my bags. Cool Brown is also very nice. It gives you, it's definitely darker and gives you that kind of 90s look. If you did want that classic nudie brown, Deep Taupe is your girl. And then this is a newer favorite of mine. This is the Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Pencil in the shade Tan from Makeup by Mario. This is also like a perfect brownie peachy pinky nude. Iconic nude from Charlotte Tilbury it will always be a classic and a favorite of mine but this one in foxy brown has been so good for just defining the center portion of your lip so I'll go in with like a regular nude and then I'll go in and just define my lips with this one and this one also is like the perfect 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 90s darker deep brown. Now let's move on to lipsticks. I actually don't have that many lipsticks because I'm very very picky with my lipsticks but one of my all-time favorites is the Armani Lip Power in the shade 102. This is the perfect light pinky nude color. It just adds the perfect amount of color to your lips. I like that it's kind of glossy. It just glides on. It's not super opaque so it really just adds that brightness. When I want my lip combo to stay on all night long and not move. I use this product from Makeup by Mario. It's the Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Cream in the shade Nude Suede. So I'll put my liner on and then I'll put this liquid kind of lipstick on and it is the perfect color. And then I'll go in on top with my gloss. Now let's talk about my favorite lip balms and my favorite lip glosses. My all-time favorite lip balm is my Summer Fridays Vanilla Lip Balm. I use this literally all the time. It looks so good just with a liner. It is the perfect amount of glossiness and bombiness. It's not sticky. They have a bunch of different colors now, but the classic is still my fave. Okay, guys, I don't know how more people aren't talking about this product. It's the Lip Glaze from House Labs in the shade Praline. Look at how stunning this brown color is. This just with a brown liner. Oh my goodness. Tarte Maracuja lip plumpers and lipsticks are some of my all-time favorites. I love the stick because it's just so easy to apply. I like that the stick kind of blends your lip liner and everything together. I have a few colors, but honestly, my all-time favorite, the one that I use the most, is just the very basic classic clear one. I actually finished mine and had to repurchase one because sometimes I don't want any color. I just want a little bit of glossiness. I like the stick form because you can just add a little bit in the center, but I did pick up two to test out and oh my gosh they just did it again they're so good this is the lip vinyl it makes your lips look like glass like so shiny it is a thicker gloss but it literally looks like you have a vinyl on your lip and this I have in the shade sheer petal and then I saw that they have the lip plumpers with little sparkles in it which I applied today and this I think just blew all of the other ones out of the water. I got the shade Soft Pink Shimmer Glass and I'm very impressed. I know I'm talking a lot. So my last two favorite lip products are the Lawless um, Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. I don't know if this necessarily plumps your lip. I don't notice the difference, but it does make your lips feel very hydrated. And then my favorite lip gloss, like true lip gloss, is the Fenty Lip Gloss in the shade Sweet Mouth. It's like the perfect pinky color and these just smell good. Honestly, nothing smells as good as a Fenty lip gloss. Now let's quickly talk about my two fragrance recommendations. Of course, YSL Lib will always be a true favorite of mine. This is the perfume I wear at nighttime when I want to feel sexy and very feminine. But this one, okay, has quickly replaced all of my other vanilla fragrances. It's Vanilla Sex from Tom Ford. It's vanilla, but in a way that is still sexy and very different from any other vanilla. It's not artificial smelling at all. It smells like a warm hug but still very pretty. All right, you guys, well, that is it for my Sephora recommendations video. I truly feel like I talked your ear off, but these are my ride or die, my top recommendations for you guys. Also, don't forget to let me know what products you think I should pick up during the savings event in the comments down below. As per usual, I will leave them all linked below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Bye.